Et yes Il borde Dumpy. Oh. Oh. You heard it here first. Bitcoin is going to zero. When it comes out, zero. Just hold all bro. Did you guys think we'd get these prices again? Uh, <laughs> I, I did. think so, actually. No. I can't believe it. <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't expect 17k. I I really didn't um, expect 17k to be honest. Um, I mean, I, mean, I, I expected a thousand dollars for ETH eventually. I didn't yeah. expect it so fast. So fast, yeah, yeah. man. That was yeah. Yeah. I expected us to get there after we had our move to 10k. I assume oh, we'd oh, break you? up to 10k before we drop back down to 1k. But wow. I mean. I kind of thought we'd get there eventually, but I did, I just really didn't expect us to get there. Well, see, I seen that guy tweeted the other day uh, or yesterday. I think it was. Um, he's the one of the Ethereum dev, devs. I think he said that um, Ethereum is not priced in with the current merge that's coming. For yeah, it. he's 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 always yeah. saying that. I know what you mean. Mm. Yeah, he's he's but really he, bullish. Yeah. He is, it's but he also different. didn't he show like didn't he show like some bad projects or something that got people proper wrecked or something? So is he not like trying to pump his bag? Or maybe, maybe maybe we're talking about different devs then, because the one I'm say, thinking about, he, about he's only in Ethereum basically, Ethereum and Bitcoin, nothing else. Is he? He's called Sas Sas or something or Sasso or something? Oh yeah, I don't even mean like ninety five percent ETH. I don't think yeah. he ever shield shit coins. To be honest, I've never yeah, seen he, he, he did. He, 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 did. he, he did. He shield free coins. Is uh, it's on Twitter. He blocked the guy that called him out for it. Um, the other day, I was reading about it. I'll try and find it for you. Um, but he he did. He shield free coins or something. Um, and he he, he was. I mean, I to know. be fair, I've shield many a thing that are way below where I shield them at. Now. No, no, we have. Yeah, I'm just I'm just I saying think, that. Yeah. Is he is he not, is he trying to like? create a FOMO and I don't think he's he's big enough to create FOMO on a no. project or token like Ethereum with multi-billion mm-hmm. liquidity True. Yeah. Yeah. True. Capo, Capo was saying earlier this is why I stopped shilling shit coins because when everything drops everyone comes and blames you yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. call anything and it's probably below what you called it at in 2021 um uh yeah, I mean, it, it's been a tough week, don't get me wrong. Um, but no, I did not expect us to drop this low this fast. Oh, Especially because uh, this, we've been I under just, 10 in greed literally all week. Yeah, I, I, mm. I, I, I just uh, I just feel like it, it, it's, it's just too good to be true. I said this last last week on, on the newscast last week. It's just too good to be true. I'm like, oh, yeah. get getting these prices again. This is where you make this is where you make the money is is by getting in really cheap. It's the entry that that, that counts. What's think, your guys' cheapest recent Ethereum purchase? Uh, like, nine forty. Oh, not bad, not bad. Nine oh three. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> I was on. Oh, sorry, zk sync. Shout out. I, I I use zk sync for a quick little snag. I got my first buy. It was like nine thirty four, and then nine oh three. Nice. You yeah. got Bitcoin at seventeen six seventy thousand six hundred. Go on in India. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, one oh six one. Um, I bought just one coin. Um, to the last oh. little pump to to okay. uh, well, no, nothing, nothing. Yeah, I was yeah. buying. No. I was I was buying all well. the way down. I was buying all, all, all the way down. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> same. Nice. I, I, I started. I started way too, way too early. I started on one point eight k and then all the way down to I think nine hundred. 16 was oh. my lowest. Oh, nice. My ladder was like 22 at the start. I immediately, I very quickly edited that one. And uh, my ladder is now like every hundred dollars down to like 500. Yeah, and I don't think I I'll actually had super low ball orders sitting down to 400 because I was just thinking, I was trying to catch them on KuCoin because KuCoin sometimes has low liquidity and you get mm-hmm. crazy weeks downwards. So, I was hoping for four hundred, five hundred dollars Ethereum. <laughs> that would have been crazy. Well, what I was really hoping for too, I did have one order on uh, Zigzag, uh, just in case three AC got liquidated and people yeah. panicked because their liquidation price was like 
$893. And I think we hit $893 and two cents. Shut oh up. my up god. Sunday. Oh yeah, it was a real fucking close. Um, oh, they probably sorry. put up everything they fucking had as support. It's like a fucking battle, isn't it? Oh, it is. It, it really is a fucking battle. 7,000 <laughs> ether that will be market sold if it breaks below. So How much? Like, 75,000 ether if it breaks 893. Holy shit. From 3 AC. I don't know if they've, this was just from last night. They might have updated their margins. Um, a lot of people are doubling down, which fucking blows me away. Like <clears throat> all these big firms and VCs, they aren't just paying off their debts. They're just like, nah, we're going to throw it all on black and double down yeah. and, and try yeah. and make all our money. And it's like, dude, yes. you're, you're doing opposite thing of what you're supposed to do but isn't it so, isn't it isn't it kind of scary that micro strategies is doing the same shit right yeah now? basically beat, beat me yeah too. yeah borrowing beat, beat. fucking billions and billions yeah. to buy crypto i mean i mean we love him for all that but imagine <laughs> if it goes wrong way up listen to this is going to break out do, do you know novagrat he called yeah. 40k as the bottom then 30k then 20k yeah. and now he's like Fucking maybe 10k who head. knows <laughs> I've, I've, i know yeah I've, 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 they, they, they are they're all fucking idiots man honestly no, no, I to be fair see i've been bumping all the way down they're all stupid i don't you know i'm not gonna say this is exactly the bottom i don't know i'm just gonna that's keep that's that's the thing man nobody fucking knows what the bottom is and today's bottom might be tomorrow's top or whatever who, who fucking knows just dollar cost okay. average in dollar cost average out really funny piece uh, you know, today's bottom might be tomorrow's top or whatever, but you know, tomorrow's top might be today's bottom, uh, or yeah. yesterday's top might be today's bottom. Um, so I found this news piece uh, while searching for this week, and the title was "Ethereum will never again breach 1K." I was like, mm, "That's kind of funny. I wonder if they mean like it won't ever fall below 1K again because like we just fell below and snapped back up." Yeah, I was like, "That's a hell of a call if you're going to call that literally the day of. Like, that's ballsy, you know." Because um, yeah. I can still see it dropping back below a thousand, no problem. Um, I'm not gonna write that off. Yeah, but then I was like, okay, let me let me give it a read, right? And so I'm pretty sure, briefly, crypto needs to uh, please update your API calls because this is a three year old article. It was published this morning on Briefly with Crypto. Uh, it was published in the depths of the 2019 bear market, um, and so they were predicting that ETH would obviously, you know, never go above 1K again. Um, and now ago. we're yeah, this was three years ago. Um, and so now we're, you know, 1K is acting as support um, three years later. And I, I, you know, I just thought it was kind of amusing that, I mean, we're at the absolute, you know, depths of everyone saying crypto's just done. It's worthless. It doesn't actually do and anything. 1K is now support. Yeah. Yeah. 1K is now support. And yeah, previously yeah, yeah. they were like, we'll never hit it again. And this it's was like, when, yeah, this went, this went, uh, uh, Ethereum. Zoom- it was like eighty dollars, a hundred dollars, and they were like, "It will never, ever get, get over one k again." Not only has it been over one k, it's been to fucking five k or four point nine k, and now one k is support. The bottom last time was eighty five, and just now we hit like eight ninety three. I seen. Um, I was just watching Perfect. Trader SE's YouTube video before. Oh yeah. Say it again. Trader SC, his YouTube video, I was just watching it before, and he he has Bitcoin going down to 11k. That breaks a lot of... still really bearish. A lot of people... Mm. I just think... I just think... Like, is it... Are they ever going to... getting over bearish, I think. I think it's way over bear, but it's one extreme to the other. At at the top, everyone's going crazy calling for a million. At the bottom, everyone's calling for, like, Nine, nine k, eight k, seven k. See it every time. I mean, I get it because like the Fed is still raising rates. Like they raised them seventy five basis points last week. Um, you know, they were originally going to raise them fifty, and they raised them seventy five, which was uh, people ended up pricing that in anyways. But that's still the highest raise in like twenty five years. And so it, until they it? stop raising interest, you know, uh, the assumption is that inflation will keep going up because they're raising interest to fight it. And so, you know, I mean, yeah, is the macro bad? But yes, but also, I mean, I don't know. Everything else is fucked too. What do you want to buy? Everything else is fucked too. Yeah, yeah. not buy anything. Yeah. Yeah. Go on. No, No, go go on. on. 
Well, I was just saying, the, the, the RSI is the most oversold it's mm. ever been. Ever. Sorry, but if, you, if, you, if you're not buying there, then fucking I'm, I'm just lost for words. Even um, on the multi, the uh, multi time frame for the RSI has been new lows. Unbelievable. I can't believe it. Um, all, like, you know, I feel like, I just, I just feel like this is a massive opportunity and most people will end up buying the top or the pump and they're going to miss out on, that's why it's so important for me to just, just a dollar cost average and I, I'm never going to time it right and, and get the bottom and I'll be on the edge of my seat, I can't sleep, I can't sleep at night, I'm getting anxious, I'm getting stressed. If I dollar cost, just dollar cost average slowly. I can put my mind yeah. at rest and just Dollar know. Dollar average on the lows. Like, don't buy the pumps. So my mind's the... at rest, yeah. My, 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 I'm, I'm, ch I'm chilled out. I can sleep at night because I know that's my strategy and it works time and time again. It's always done me well. That's it. I'm not, I'm not overthinking it. I'm just keeping it simple. Mm -hmm. So it's what it is. Keep it I, simple. I, st I still think even if you're buying Ethereum at 1500 1600 you fucking it's fine. Because even it, that is still a deal compared to still what I think deal. it's worth. Compared I mean, to how pe most people were buying it at three k, four k, five, four thousand, eight hundred, nine hundred, and they were like, "It's going to fucking ten k, twenty k, thirty k." So it's what it is. That's still only. A, I mean, even from five k to ten k is still only a two x, but now you're looking at a ten x because. Yeah. Based on the math, I still think it's worth that much. I mean, the thesis doesn't change just because the short-term price changes. And a lot of it is because of macro environment problems and then also a shit ton of liquidations. Yeah, I mean, the entire fall from like 17,000 or 1,700 for ETH and then 25,000 for Bitcoin was just pure liquidations and selling. Like yeah, people just yeah. got forced wrecked. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. a lot of that was held up by longs that just got obliterated. And... If you aren't buying the capitulation wick, or at least the capitulation like events, that's I mean that that that's where you should be buying. That that's this is the, in my opinion, what? that huge volume capitulation candle on the weekly um, was a good. What? I'm not saying what it's. Gets, not... Yeah, sorry. What what gets me is you talk about buying now and everyone's like, oh, it's too early, it's too early. But but after you pump, everyone is going to be saying, oh yeah, I bought it, I bought it, I caught the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, they're not willing to, to, to say that at the time. That's a, yeah, that's and I mean, don't get me wrong. Could it go lower? Yeah, 100%. But I have more orders because I still want to yeah. buy more. Like, the, the point is to buy lower if you want to buy lower. But if it doesn't go lower, that's fine. I had my orders in for around 900. Yeah, yeah. You know, you just got to make your own rules and stick to them. You know, don't get uh, shaken out by, you know, yeah. all the bullshit media that is just... Oh, it's so, max FUD right now. It's wild. On a, on a last note before we move on to the news, uh, mm -hmm. ETH merge is not priced in then. No, oh, in my opinion, no. Based on the volume it does, not even close. Mm. Based on the volume it does, and, it's, and an average uh, PE ratio would put it at around 6,500 based upon quite a few analysts. Um, but long term, uh, it depends. I mean... If the volume stays similar, yeah, around 6,500 uh, base. And then it also depends on how large the staking um, and, uh, ecosystem gets, I guess. Because I think uh, staking will itself become a huge ecosystem once we get rid of things like Celsius uh, staking other people's funds on locked shit. Yeah. Because um, staking Ether has never been the problem in the last <coughs> months. It's been, you know, centralized exchanges using your funds somewhere else and then have not you heard, returning them. Have you heard that some you know, people, it, Sorry, what? People on Celsius, you've got um, leverage, leverage positions, even though their funds are locked. The price of Bitcoin, when it was coming down, Celsius were uh, throwing out leverage call, uh, margin, yeah, call. margin calls. Yeah, and then they got liquidated because they couldn't access their funds. It's like, well, I, I imagine having your money locked in Celsius and getting a margin call. You'd be like... Well, am I even going to get, going to get the money back? <laughs> That's the problem, yeah. Crazy. Well, because you have two options. You can either let it get liquidated, or you can add more to your margin. But then if you add more to your margin, you still can't you access that. You lose that as well, yeah? Yeah, you still can't access it. So, like, what's the point? Like, you may as well... I mean, I don't know. I, I would have written it off, but I, I'm not in the situation. Um, 
I don't know. Uh, they just another reminder not to use a large percent of your portfolio in a centralized staking service. Hundred percent, love it, love it. Yeah. So speaking of wild times, uh, both Coinbase and Bitmex are firing a bunch of employees. Uh, Coinbase is firing like a thousand employees or something like that, um, and Bitmex is laying off around five hundred. Um, however, there are quite a few exchanges that are also on a hiring spree because they actually made decisions in 2022, saved their money, and now can spend that money to build. And those include uh, Binance, FTX, Kraken, and Ripple. Um, and Binance, easy specifically put out a pretty funny tweet, um, pretty much calling out all the like crypto.com that spent huge amounts of money on the Super Bowl ads. Yeah, I saw that. Um, yeah. And he's like, you know, it was hard not to spend that money on marketing deals, but we didn't. And now it has paid off long term and we are officially hiring 2,000 new employees, which wow. is huge. Like, that it's is a really good, good long term decision by Manance. I'm not going to say they're my favorite in the world because they are still a centralized exchange, but that is a responsible decision. And I mm. give them props for You know, it. Like, you did not make the dumbass decision that Coinbase did where they spent all their money and then now they have to fire a thousand people. Like, Good news, it's keeping people in jobs, isn't it? It's great. It is. Yeah, they're, they're giving people jobs and they're keeping the jobs that they have given. Um, and so, and same for FTX, Kraken, and Ripple props. Um, not going to say you're, I mean, I'm not going to huge, please use these, but at least props for making smart decisions in the space and not, you know, fucking up. Love it. Which I'm I'm surprised that I'm giving. Uh, it's kind of bad that I have to give props for not fucking up, but here we are. Um, as seen by quite a few exchanges recently. Uh, so next on the news, uh, we also have a pretty cool news piece from Circle, uh, the primary company behind USDC. They're releasing a Euro coin. Uh, really good for you guys over uh, in UK and Europe. Or actually, UK. I don't know if you don't use the Euro anymore. No, like never they, don't. The they never use it. Yeah. Yeah, you guys have the pound, sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Euro coin will be released on June 30th um, by Circle uh, to try and increase onboarding in Europe and then also make it more efficient that instead of having to cash out to like USDC and then somehow to your bank for euros, you can just go straight to Euro coin and then just cash out. Um, which is actually pretty cool. I mean, because then you can do the same thing onboarding where you can just go straight to Euro coin and then just buy whatever you want to buy. Um, so actually pretty good news, in my opinion. Uh, we'll have institutional buying on June 30th, uh, but we don't have news on retail yet. So we will update when that happens. Um, interestingly, they chose Ethereum. So what else? <laughs> just uh, figured I'd toss that in there. Um, <laughs> there is a reason for that. Um, so uh, I would say that we, we've covered pretty much everything. The last piece of news, um, liquidations have been absolutely off the charts this past week. Uh, we saw over $1.3 billion in liquidations in a single day um, last week towards the descent towards 20K. Um, and so this is my reminder to everyone to avoid leverage. Uh, and if you are going to do it, you should know why you're doing it. And if you're asking, should I do it? The answer is probably no. <laughs> Um, yeah, so uh, that's just my advice for the week. Uh, we've seen major VCs like 3AC almost get liquidated and they have hundreds of millions of dollars. You think they know what they're they doing? Got, they got partially liquidated. They did. Yeah. Wow. So if these hundred million dollar companies can get liquidated, unless you think you can beat them, mm. <laughs> that's, yeah, that, that should be Good the luck. Um. Yeah, and the nice thing about not getting liquidated is that you still have your money. You might be down, but it's still you. I know. So, um, yeah, I'd say just as a reminder, just to zoom out, take a deep breath, and you know, remind yourself that why we're here. Good that advice. This is a better... Take a long term viewpoint. Zoom out completely. Zoom out, like like you said, and just look at the charts. Understand. That during 2018, 19, everyone was losing hope. Everyone gave up on Bitcoin. Nobody thought Bitcoin was was ever going to go up over 10k ever again. They were just like, "This is just fucking forget Bitcoin. Just move to altcoins, low caps, and whatever else." Then suddenly, out of nowhere, Bitcoin is fucking pumped. It was like, "Whoa!" It's, it's same same thing might happen again. It might be like a, a year or two. Think. Patience, yeah. Patience. Patience. 
need the Fed to flip an inflation to bill, which I think is ironic. <laughs> Slightly ironic. Do you think with um, regulations and things like that that possibly might come in? That um, I had a sorry, let me start, I'll start that again. I had a normie friend who messaged me and said, "Oh, do you think you're going to see the hundred X's and the, the crazy runs that we see that we've seen in this bull run? Do you think with regulations and things like that coming in play to play that is is that going to still happen? Do you think? <laughs> what's I think your that, that? Yeah, I think I think I think this, this is you asking. But yeah, you... yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. You said that friend. <laughs> I'm friend so. But uh, I'm asking, I'm asking for, a, I'm asking for a friend. Was, I'm asking about the behalf of a friend. <laughs> no, no, he, he, just, I, he yeah. rang me up. No, he he rang me up and he he mentioned it, and I thought it's a good point. I don't know, you know. I... I mean, personally, okay. So the way I see it, the answer is yes, simply because. Regardless of if there's regulation and stuff like <laughs> United States and Europe, yeah, there might be, but it doesn't, they can't prevent people from making smart contracts. Yeah, and they exactly. also can't prevent people from providing pretty low liquidity. So if you provide like 10K mm. of liquidity and just like any other shit coin, if it's a mm. meme, you're going to get 100X just because the math yeah. is too easy. You know, yeah. if you launch in tiny markets, you know, micro caps. Yeah. You're probably going to get 100x if everyone's in, you know, a great mood. But that also mm. requires the global economy not to be in a shitter. Yeah, um, just so, yeah, I think it'll happen even with regulation because they mm. can't stop you from or stop anyone really from making a smart contract. No, they can't. I just, I just, they don't like it though, do they? They have made this big comment. Yeah, they, 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 the they might don't like it, but they can't do shit about it. And as mm. long as people yeah. want to gamble, they're going to gamble anyways. True. Literally. True. Yeah, they yeah, can't stop true. you. That's kind of the beauty of it is that they can't stop you from making a transaction. Like, yeah, yeah. You know? I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine because this is it's happened so many times in the past where the market mm. just died off and then out of mm. nowhere it came back. But I think we're gonna have multiple little alt seasons. It won't be like just a massive one that comes back. It'll be like uh, you always get. I don't like you get like a, a relief in the market alt. Well, because we need time for you know the the first relief, then the people that got wrecked sell off, and then the second relief, you get people that sell because they bought the dips, and then the third relief, you get people that sell because they think it's not quite over yet, and then the fourth yeah. relief, you know, you're like, oh shit, we're finally gonna do it, and then it happens. Yeah, you know, it takes it. time. Yeah. It takes time. I think, but, you know, you got to make a yeah. where you want to start. I, I think as well as there's so much damage that's been done to the market, it's all about rebuilding the market structure now. That's what happens now. That's what's taking place right now is it's a slow rebuild of the entire market structure. Investor yeah. confidence returning, people dabbling and nibbling away and gaining more confidence. It just takes a long time. It's very time-consuming process and that's why patience is so important but yeah it'll especially cool you got to get all that wrecked wreckness like out of back mirror you know and right now it's still fresh in everybody's mind yeah 100 percent. that's the problem it, it, it's it needs to get out the back mirror but it, it, it does feel like people forget yeah. quick like people they people do. get bored like everyone's so toxic and negative and bearish now but people get bored of that and it will it'll soon Funny switch enough. back Say again. I feel like I'm tired. Like, can, can we be done being bearish, please? I know. I know. But even the people who, who are like that will get bored of it and then we'll be like, right, I'm bored now. Let's have some fun. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, right. Let's enjoy ourselves again. Yeah. But Time I do think that left at least a little. But yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What do I know? <laughs> so yeah uh i think that rounds it up for the week guys uh we'll be back you know every week to give you updates regardless up or down yeah and make sure you follow us, follow us on twitter subscribe to our youtube channel true just would love a like and subscribe just one for the week join, give us one we love it TG. true join the gem hunters at the gem hunters tg love it. Also love that. It. We'll, we'll, yeah. we'll leave the details in the description we will. Hello. Cheers, guys. All Cheers. Right. Bye bye.